everyone, it's me, Molly! Molly, up the Nolly. Let's go! She's Molly, up the Nolly. <laughs> Come along oh. with Molly. Molly. Who fills the fire we Come along with Molly. Molly. From Tundra to the sea. She's Molly of the Nally. She's Molly of the Nally. Good morning, Molly. How was your first night in the trading post? Amazing, Mom. My new bedroom is perfect. Layla, can you come down here? That doesn't sound good. Dad? Wait, before you step down. Whoa, what happened to the room? Well, the dog, um, seems to have finished unpacking for us. And as you can hear, I put her back outside. Is this flour all over the floor? Oh no, looks like she spilled a drum of cooking oil. How'd she open it? She must have gone out of the bunkhouse and come looking for food. Well, she found it. This can't keep happening. That dog is going to put us out of business before we even open. Then it's time to call in some help. Easy, girl. That's it. Now show her the back of your hand. Move closer slowly. Stop and let her come to you to sniff it. That's it. When my dad trains our sled dogs, he says the most important thing is to show them that they can trust you. Now give her some space again. You think we could teach her some basic obedience stuff? You mean like, don't eat everything in the trading post? Or maybe just sit. You can't just say sit, girl. If we're going to try to train her... Of course! She needs a name! Something like... Miki said she's little. Or Nuki said she's going to be big and strong when she grows up. What about Suki? Suki? What does it mean? Suki means loved one in Japanese. I learned that from my dad too. Suki, I like it. Do you have a loved one who is looking for you, pup? Hey, I have an idea. Try throwing this ball, see if she'll fetch it. Here, Suki. There's a nice rubber ball for you to chase and bring back to me. You like that, huh? Okay. Get it, girl! And... She's gone again. Well, she's got the chasing part down. I think she went back behind the bunkhouse. There, somewhere in the pile of shipping crates. Maybe the one that's rocking back and forth? Wow, Suki. It looks like you made a nice home in this crate. She's got a bunch of stuff in here. It's... It's my stuffed puffin. I've been looking for him. She sure likes to take things. <laughs> Only she doesn't like giving them back. Wait, check out that hole in the corner of the crate. That must be how she got in. But it looks like the hole has been chewed from the inside. The inside? Wow, she's got strong teeth. Tui, what if this is how Suki got here? She was shipped inside a crate. How will we figure that out? Maybe Mr. Rowley will know. Mr. Rowley's trailer is like a spaceship. And I love the crazy sculptures in his yard. What do you think that one is? A whale? No, definitely a polar bear. Hello, Molly. Hello, Tui. Hi, Mr. Rowley. I hope we're not bothering you. We were just admiring your, uh, sculpture of, uh... Oh, you mean Wally, my walrus. A walrus? Of course. That's what I thought. You did? Shh. We met when I was ice fishing in Cape Pierce three winters ago. His tusks were as big as skis. Well, <laughs> almost. He's great, Mr. Rowley. Um, can we ask you a question about the trading post? Uh, is it about the sink that gurgles? What sink that gurgles? Uh, I, I, I don't know. You brought it up. No, I... 
Uh, see, it started when my birthday cake disappeared. Something's eating your food! Yes! Yeah, I should have warned your family. You know about the beast? My last few days living there, something kept sneaking in and eating all my supplies. Well, Molly discovered the thief. She's a puppy, Mr. Rally. A Malamute we named Suki. A puppy? She was living in an empty shipping crate behind the bunkhouse. We think she might have been shipped to the post. Accidentally, of course. Here's the crate number that was printed on the cover. Yes, the crate number. Don't move. I got all my old notebooks inside. Let me see here. Oh, look, I have my bunny boots. <laughs> Mr. Rowling never throws anything uh, away. Yes, no, not it. Here it is. You found it? Right here. The crate was shipped to the trading post for uh, Auntie Midge. Yes, I remember now. Strange story. It's coming back to me. We love stories. Well, Midge's sister, Auntie Annie, lives on a lake up north, and she loves to bake. I know Auntie Annie. She sends sourdough bread every year. Yum. That's right. She makes it from her hundred-year-old sourdough starter. Once a year, she'd send a box full of treats to Auntie Midge, who passes them out all around Kaya. But when Auntie Midge came to pick up this particular crate, it was empty. Mom and Dad, Suki must have stowed away in the crate before Auntie Annie sent it. <laughs> that dog leaves nothing but crumbs everywhere she goes. She's going to eat us out of house and home. And trading post. The grand reopening is only a couple days away. That's why we have to find Suki's owner. Mr. Rally said Auntie Annie lives near Bettles. That's a pretty remote area, Molly. Why is this so important to you? Because Suki can't stay here, and I know if she were my puppy, I'd be really worried about her. I do have a delivery to make up in Arctic Village, which isn't too far. Can I come along and bring Suki? Well, I'm happy to have you as a co-pilot, Molly, but I'm not sure Suki is going to like flying in another bush plane. She can ride in her favorite crate with my puffin stuffy. She'll be okay. All right, let's change out the wheels. It's cold enough up there to land on the frozen lake. Good luck, guys. I'll keep getting the trading post ready while you're gone. Okay, Dad, but don't forget about my organizing system! It's so beautiful down there! What are those mountains? That's the Brooks Range, which means we're not far from where we're going to land. They look so close! It's like I can reach down and touch the trees. Some of those peaks are 9,000 feet high. Hang on, we're heading into a little turbulence. Sorry for the bumps, Suki. Mom says turbulence happens when we fly through different temperatures of air. Right, Mom? You got it. I have a feeling one day soon, I'm going to be your co-pilot, Molly. How's Suki doing in her crate? I made it as cozy as I could, but I think she'll be happy when we're on the ground. There's the lake down there. Ready to land, co-pilot? Ready, Captain. Beginning our descent. It might be a little bumpy. Uh, it's okay, Suki. Mom's the best bush pilot there is. What was that? Suki broke out of her crate. Uh, and now she's in my lap. How did she do that? Guess she has a talent for escaping. Well, hold her tight, okay? Got her. It's okay, Suki. You're okay now. <laughs> okay, girl. That's enough licking. We're coming in for a landing. Hang on. I've got you, Suki. I've got you. And we're down. See, Suki? Safe and sound. Right in the middle of a frozen lake. I bet Auntie Annie is going to be so happy to see Suki. I hope so. You got her leash? Yep. Nenjit don't, yeah, Annie. How are you today? Cousin Layla, Chinjikwin Z. Good to see you. I love getting visitors. We brought pickled salmon belly from your sister Midge. Masi Cho. And who is this beautiful young lady? Hello, Auntie Annie. I'm Molly. It's so nice to meet you finally. Ah, it's you. You know Suki? That stray snuck into my house and ate nearly everything I had. All of my sourdough bread! Stray? Then... Suki isn't yours? Mine? 
Oh, no! That dog is a nuisance, if you ask me. Do not let her into my house. <laughs> Suki has a lot of energy, <laughs> Auntie Annie. But she's... Whoa! Molly, the leash! No! Leave my cat alone! My lamp! Suki! Please! Just get that dog Molly, out Molly, grab here. the leash! Got her! Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> What a menace that dog is. So sorry, Auntie Annie. But Suki isn't a menace, I promise. She just has a strong spirit. Um, oh, thanks for everything, Annie. I think we'll be going now. Yeah, um, the entire village of Kaya loves your sourdough bread. Come on, Molly. Good luck finding a home for that dog. Nina halt ya. See you again. Suki didn't mean it, did you, girl? I know she didn't. So, Auntie Annie said Suki was a stray. That means she never had a home? I'm afraid it looks that way, Molly. We'll figure something out, Suki. I promise. But we need to get you back in your crate so we can take off. That might not be so easy. What do you mean? We've got a problem, Molly. The plane's wheels are frozen in the ice. Frozen? But how? When the ice on the lake starts to melt, and then it's covered again with snow, sometimes the slush under the snow refreezes. It's called overflow. Overflow? Then... we're stuck? The Molly of Denali podcast was created by WGBH and Gen Z Media in partnership with PRX. If you like what you hear, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you like to listen. Molly of Denali. She's Molly of Denali. She's Molly of Denali.